Good evening, everyone. So, they just tell me how many of you people have heard the name of Ashok Khimka. Pata hai sabko? Haan, aye sab hai sab. Haryana ka and transfer frequently. Wow. Yes, transfer for his honesty and. He always finds some kind of way, one way or other, to you know be in the news, be in the limelight. Okay, but going by the very ethical premise, if you will see that you know probably when you will end up reading your ethics paper and uh, when you will settle the debate between deontological ethics and consequentialism or utilitarianism. Okay, then you have to think about the role that Ashok Khimka is playing. <laughs> okay. Or he could have been like Vinod Rai or some other person. Are you getting my point? That what point and purpose is honestly serving if you are not serving the people? <laughs> Just saying that something, you know, that I'm honest and, you know, you are not able to do anything for the society, how much it is reflecting. Okay, it is not the core context of our class. But why we are discussing Ashok Khimka here? The topic states that we have to study the role of caste and gender in determining science and education in India. So where exactly is Ashok Khimka fitting in? No, nowhere. Wait, you will be surprised to know that Ashok Khimka was a research student and in fact was a student of TAFR that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, one of the very famous colleges in India, particularly for the research and research in higher education. So he was a physics resident and he was one among the few in TAFR who completed his PhD even when he was not the student of TAFR, even when he joined the IAS services. The point being that, you know, when he was asked that why you haven't opted for a career in research. Okay. So his answer was very simple. And he largely, you know, highlighted two points. Point one is that we are living in a country where a constable is more respected than a scientist. <laughs> so this was the point one okay that if you are a constable in any of the state machineries okay you will have more power and more respect in the society than being a scientist in ISRO or for that matter any of the organizations you will be respected but you will be respected in certain selected communities which will be communities of educated person isn't it two that he highlighted that there is a certain kind of systematic barrier or we can say systemic barrier in higher education, particularly in the entry, at the entry level. See, completing a PhD in itself is not that big task, not that tough task. But what you will do after completing your PhD? Naturally, you will go for some career in uh, academics only. So you will try to be a professor. So Khemka in this context bluntly stated that that for certain subject, certain community of the East holds sway over all the other people. So if we can talk about chemistry, then, you know, if you are from science background, then you will realize that most of the chemistry professors or researchers are from East India and particularly for Bengal. Chatterjee, Benerjee, Mukherjee. Hey na? Is type ke baat sare log hote. Similarly, if we talk about mathematics, certain community from South India, okay, hold sway in mathematics. They control all the near positions in mathematics. We can call them Tam Bram, okay, Brahmins of uh, South India. So they have this certain link 
by which they promote themselves or their community. Similarly, in Uttar Pradesh, BHU and other universities, communities of Brahmin and Lala promote themselves and Thakur also. So this is a well-known debate. We will not go into that debate. But what we will try to realize by this debate is that suppose somebody is there in the position of power. He designed the curriculum in that way. He teaches the student in that way. <laughs> so don't you think that it will create chances of institutional racism? Racism which is propagated by some institutions. In this case, what we are talking about is academic institutional racism. Isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Okay. See how, see. When you are in your college campus, you try to interact with the people who are of your frequency. Hota hai ki nahi hota hai? You know, you will be, probably most of you people maybe are have, must have went to some college. So the community of you, though the people, the, the friendship of you is between the similars. Jiska dimag utna kaam kar rahe, wo ek saath ek group mein ban jate hai. Hai na? So, you know, mechanical engineers are those people who are always indulged in some kind of activity. <laughs> we know what kind of activities are there. But, you know, they have this common linking point. So, even in colleges, even in IIT, you will be surprised to know that all the dropouts from the IIT, in all these IITs, 48.9% people who drops out of IIT are from SC, ST and OBC community. Similarly, 66.1% of the people dropping out of IIMs are from these communities only. SC, ST and OBC. Of the total 6,063 vacancies, maybe, maybe data can be maybe... 100 to 200 hour and below. I'm not exactly, uh, I'm not sure about that, but maybe the figure is 6,623. I'm not sure about that. So you can cross check it. So all these 6,000 and something faculties in 23 IITs, only 3% belong to SC and ST communities. Now, as we were saying, how and why, you know, probably we can always attribute and discussion in this context to the meritocracy, isn't it? Why, you know, those people who are faring good in their examination, in their academic career are naturally going high. Why people, you know, if somebody is dropping out because he is not capable to survive in any of the academic interference, then how can we say that we caste is to be blamed for or gender is to be blamed for? This is the thing which arises in our being. But you know that what we are discussing here is STEM education. And publication and research paper is one of the most important component of our life in these careers. Like for example, if you and if any of your known person is doing PhD. Okay. So, you know, they will always see that, you know, that our H index is this. I'm just forgetting the full form of H index, but this is something to do with the overall research quality or where your general is published, where your article is being published. Is it publishing in Elweiser? Is it publishing in another reputed generals? Sage particularly. So these things matter. And those people who are sitting in these academic institutions are generally of higher caste or 
if we generalize it at the world level, they are from certain close community, from certain cultural capital. It is not limited to India only. Okay, how many of you know the name, the name of Michael Faraday? Sabko pata hai Michael Faraday ka naam? Huh? Ah, electromagnetic interaction. Faraday, Faraday. Okay, so Faraday is considered as one of the best experimental scientists. We are not saying this. Is, there are two kinds of sciences. One is theoretical sciences. Everybody knows name like uh, Einstein, Bohr. So, everyone knows that in the theoretical scientists, there is Einstein and Newton. Hai. But there has something, there is something, na, experimental scientism. Faraday is one of the, uh, Faraday is a person who is considered to be best experimental scientist, but he was from third class. Surf pata hai sabko? Nobel. Ha, serfs and lords. So, you know, when this, his professor used to visit him. His professor was good at his art. He always wanted to keep Faraday by his side. He always wanted to discuss anything with the Faraday. But his wife was aristocrat. So she opposed this thing. He always used to travel in the horse carriage with the driver. So he, And he used to have his lunch at some place else. He never used to have his lunch with his professor. You know him because he invented dynamo, cycle wala dynamo. Hai na? And electrochemical reaction naturally. But this was the condition of Michael Faraday. That he was always discriminated against in a society which was aristocratic in nature. Bhadralok suna hai na aap logo ne. In history you must have heard the term Bhadralok. Bhadralok. Those people who were from the East Bengal, now Bangladesh, were called Bhadralok. Ravinna Tagore, Avinna Tagore. Okay, those people who were Jamindars. So they were, Bhadralok means someone who is culturally very rich. And they used to discriminate against the people, people who were not culturally rich. So this was the discrimination based on notion of culture. Ramanujam, he was discriminated in England. Ultimately, uh, because of such kind of discrimination, he developed TB and he died. So, in academic circle, institutional racism and systematic, systemic barrier is a con common phenomenon. <coughs> now, in this whole thing enters a person who haven't seen any kind of person who is a scientist. Right now, just think about it. In, you know, just consider the situation in India and USA. Or right now, we can talk about France also. What is the highest examination in India? UPSC. What is the highest examination in France? कितने लोगों का ऑप्शन यहाँ पे पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है आपका है ना सर व्हाट इज़ द मॉडल ऑफ़ ब्यूरोक्रेसी इन फ्रांस ओके नाउ वी विल कम बैक टू दैट लेटर बट द हाईएस्ट एग्जामिनेशन इन फ्रांस इज़ फॉर द प्रोफेसर एग्जामिनेशन द टफेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन स्कैंडिविन कंट्री प्रोफेसर्स � in US, what we are living right now is the phase of 1990s in US. Hello, Hira Nandani, the Bombay and the Silicon Valley of Bangalore. So at that time, Silicon Valley was rising in uh, California, state of California. So, you know, the shift has been towards the towards private sector. So academic was a very important component in this case. In case of India, Due to a certain tendency, and this tendency is historical. Due to certain tendency, we always focused upon government jobs. As against United States, 
where the tendency is towards the private job, individual entrepreneurship. What are these regions? Why we are behind the government jobs and why at a sudden we are discussing this? We will eventually come to this point. But just think about it. During the colonial era, only one source of social upgradation, social mobility or upward mobilizations in the society came from the government jobs. There was no jobs per se at that thing. And only jobs which were available were the government jobs. Bureaucracy, clerk, bank, railways. In North India, there is a word called Jalwa. Jante hai na? It's a very common word nowadays, Jalwa. So, look, what is government job? Mein jalwa hota hai, bhokal hota hai. Um, now, this, how I am going to translate into English is a different thing altogether because there is no parallel word as vocal. Vocal means you see, you know, a, a bit, uh, how would you say it? Obedience, opulence, huh? Ha, societal respect and opulence. So, you see, the reason being that government jobs since the very beginning became a medium. And Modi come for moving upward in the society. All these, the backward caste movement was based on the notion of the government jobs only. What are the criteria in the backward caste? But then I'm going to backward caste movement. What was exactly the backward caste movement? And how it started? What was behind that? No, it was not about joblessness. Just think about it. Initially, the Rajputs, the Kshatriya, the Brahmins and the upper class used to have power. They have the representations in the services. Okay, and these people, the middle caste people, don't have the land. Now, after the land reforms, the lean land came to middle caste people. Okay. Now, they, after a green revolution, they become rich. They become economically rich. Isn't it? So, they mobilize themselves. And the other backward, uh, other form was to get the more respect in the society was to have the government jobs. And you will be surprised to know that one of the most important component of the reservation in India, which decides that a certain section comes in the OBC or not, is the representations in the government services, group A services, which is IES, IPS. So this was one of the most important criteria. Why we are discussing government jobs right now? The reason being that right now, even now, I believe that some of the channels on the YouTube which have a significant higher number of subscriber and views than Lukman IS is the entry of the IS officer <laughs> or entry of the IPS officer. Okay, see the grand entry of IS and this is the heading I believe that you know most of the these channels are having. The problem is that you have role modelized certain person and you want to be like them. Isn't it? You want to have that grand entry. So most of the people of the certain sections, particularly SC, ST and OBCs, never have any kind of role model insights or in STEM. So who will they will follow? Hey na? Huh? Government officers. So just think about it. Why they will focus on science? Nahin. Aap to role modelize. Aap utilize kisko karte ho? This is the word na? Utilization. You whom do you utilize? The government services. And what is utilized or role modelized in uh, United States? Huh? Entrepreneurs. Zuckerberg. This is the, I, I believe, I, there is a very famous book in sociological literature. 
फ्रॉम लॉगवुड टू व्हाइट हाउस द ग्रेट अमेरिकन ड्रीम लॉगवुड दो पीपल हुर लिविंग इन द लॉगवुड हाउसेस टू व्हाइट हाउस मींस देयर इज अ चांसेस ऑफ मोबिलिटी एंड दिस इज फॉर एवरीवन एंड हाउ यू विल रियलाइज थ्रू एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप थ्रू इंडिविजुअल स्किल्स द ग्रेट अमेरिकन ड्रीम द फोकस इज ऑन इंडिविजुअल द फोकस इज ऑन इंडिविजुअल एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप individual will so in such cases the scope of the government reduces and the chances of government job reduces nobody wants to be joe biden but everybody wants to be zuckerberg hai na this is the case elon musk zuckerberg <laughs> on the contrary in india everyone wants to be tina dabi gorav agrawal Ashok came ka yes we idealize them we praise them and to certain extent we worship them i i, I was just you know somebody asked me yesterday that you have you seen that movie 12 barbie fail or what is the name of the movie exactly 12 fail no sorry barbie fail na there is a hindi movie ha huh? no this is a hindi movie and this is a very interesting topic in fact ha huh? this is something that there are a person who failed in class 12 due to certain reasons which i'm not aware of uh cleared the upsc examination became an ips and i i believe that right now he is dgp of some place so somebody asked me that have you watched that movie and my see i am just taking offense of that movie or oh, no I, i will not watch that movie i have certain ideological differences with that movie which is that you know what i believe and what i think is that failing the 12th class is a normal thing it's not a big deal so maybe somebody can fail maybe at that time he was not serious he can fail and what's so bad with failing and when you are making that movie that somebody who has failed class 12th cleared the services examinations then you are abnormalizing the phenomena of failing so maybe ah huh? so maybe from some next time when somebody will fail class 12 then he will take pain and he can commit suicide so this is the reason for maybe i am a single individual i'm not watching the movie because i don't like this concept of you know immortalizing the getting it or selecting getting selected into some certain services okay <laughs> and in the hindsight it is an advertisement of the stis <laughs> okay so coming back to our point of discussion uh so you see that there is a certain unavailability of the role models because of which people from subaltern caste now we will use the term subaltern caste this will include the minorities also subaltern s u b a l t e r n subaltern caste and gender in stem education no what is the location of these people where these people are residing the subaltern people largely in hinterlands largely in the rural areas do you think that they have the resources to understand the science so largely there is a resource constraint and because of this resource constraint people don't do not develop cognitive abilities to understand the science even if they are studying science they are rote learning it the whole thing is based on rote learning
रोट लर्निंग रोट लर्निंग यू आर जस्ट मेमोराइजिंग इट तो दिस मेमोराइजेशन यू नो मे बी एट सर्टन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम विल लेस यू नो people will lose interest in understanding the concept of the science if you will see this is a bit out of context of the topic but if you will see the total number of publication by the united states by the china and by china and by india nearly 5500 papers are published by the united states something around 5100 by the china and india is not far behind india is also publishing nearly 3500 or 3600 papers per year but the paper of quality of these papers are not that good they are just changing the data and publishing it the point being that we are just you know using the paper to get the degree and those people who are interested in the science and engineering educations also this is a tendency which is called diploma disease what is the meaning of diploma disease is that you are just getting the degrees to increase your chances in the market we acche jagah se engineering nahi kiye ja ke iit se mtech kar lo kisi acche college se mtech kar lo do you think this qualifies as stem education largely this part of education is more oriented towards the occupation that may be some more even news will open up after doing ma sorry msc or mtech so there is a chance towards there is a trade towards of diploma disease or credit inflation this is also called credit inflation in the market ha credit एकेडमिक क्रेडिट होते हैं ना कितने क्रेडेंशियल्स कितने क्रेडिट हैं सो क्रेडिट इन्फ्लेशन नो 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 वी वी नो नो दैट यू नो जो प्रॉब्ली एनी ऑफ यू आर फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड सो यू मस्ट बी हैविंग द कांसेप्ट ऑफ क्रेडिट ना दैट यू नो वी हैव दिस सब्जेक्ट एज दिस मच क्रेडिट सो दिस इज समथिंग कॉल्ड क्रेडिट इन्फ्लेशन दैट यू आर फॉलोइंग द थिंग ओनली फॉर टू गेटिंग योर बेटर चांसेस इन द जॉब मार्केट so again when these schools are not have the locational advantage and largely the question is about survival the schools are not focusing upon the science education rather preparing you only for education how can we expect the participation in this stem education clear nahi no? see you see that you know when the basics are poor how can you expect them to participate in this stem education which is core about the sciences or understanding how many of you have read a book called justice sorry republic by plato no ha huh? because you know we are preparing for upsc so the notion of justice the whole cases of dialectical method samajhte hai na dialectical that you know you start some assumption by questioning and contradicting it so this comes from the that you know this the book is written in that way okay republic by plato i start some by at some point of time i read that it was a good book so probably in your leisure time you can read that too okay so the point being that when you are going for your phd's in united states of america so it is presumed that you must have finished these kinds of book the greek philosophical book and if you are not able to finish these books you will not be able to complete your phd 
see, these books are all about logic. What is maths? Maths is an adulthood of logic. And what is physics? Physics is application of mathematics to understand the reality. So probably if we will go into that details, maths is nothing but maths is just a language. You know the first time black hole, when the motion of the black hole was there, it was invented, it was proved by Godel. And Godel was a mathematician. He just found that there is some asymmetry in some plane. So there must be something existing which is not explaining it. So he invented the notion of mathematical formula which proved the existence of black hole. Because nobody can see it at that point of time. And how many of you have seen that movie Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer to dekha hoga? Okay. Uh, but if you will get time, just see open name. It is a good movie. Huh? Maybe in some point of time it will be available, but right, not right now. But it is a brilliant movie in that context. The problem is getting that the good thing is that you know how you are getting there since the theater and something doesn't matter, but you can always go for the torrents. That's the best way to go about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or VPN naturally. <laughs> okay. So the point being, you know, why we are discussing Oppenheimer? Because you know, in the movie it was shown that Einstein is in constant talks with uh, Kurt Godel. Godel was another uh eccentric German scientist. So somebody on a particular day was just, so they, he was very interested in exactly what these people are talking because they used to talk for nearly three, four hours every day. Einstein and Godel. So the, the, as the things were like, Einstein used to say something different and Godel used to answer altogether different answers. Means there was no common ground in their communication. And people knew about Godel that he is a bit eccentric. So somebody asked uh, Einstein that, you know, why we, you are talking to him? Because he is not giving any of the answers for the questions you are asking. He said that if you will listen him, then th this is very, uh, the answers he is giving is very insightful. Though unrelated, but it is very insightful. And it is very in-depth knowledge about him. So... The point being is that you see that academic courses have their own language. Academic field have their own system. And people who are coming from subaltern caste generally face certain kind of cultural barriers. Because academic has developed over time and they developed in such a way that they have developed their own vocabulary, own systems own methodology. So people from lower caste and gender gender generally face discrimination. And this discrimination can, cultural discrimination can be witnessed at twofold. If we talk about the women, first they are facing the discrimination in their in general life. And it is compounded with the academic discrimination. Payal Tadavi. Yaad hai? I think he was a second, she was a second year resident who committed suicide in Bombay Medical College. Why? Because the language is different. Because nobody is helping her to understand the gynecological department Two, everybody is afraid that you no, know, when she will go to operate on someone she will make mistake payal tadavi she was a tribal muslim from bombay
she was not able see you know probably there is a very famous line by paulo freire he was an educationist who did certain kind of research in amazon rainforest and he basically tried to identify the region for highest highest higher dropout rates among the tribal students so what he realized that you know what is being taught to these children okay they are not understanding it how and why see probably i'm just maybe if i can tell you the story of uh, evolution of humans maybe i can talk to about you uh, you about manu and satrupa hai na and you will be easily able to understand that there was a king called manu and there was a queen called satrupa and world evolved the we all evolved from them only manu and satrupa okay but just you know probably we are because largely we are from hindi world or the indian indianized world but just you know try to contextualize it in the case of adam and eve samajh rahe ho baat ko agar hum yahi kahani sunaye ki adam tha eve tha so you know we will not be able to comprehend who was adam in case of manu my name is abhijit your name is bala ji har koi pehchan lega ki bhai these are the indian names and when you are teaching them in highly angelized language in highly angelized english they will not be able to comprehend it because they will not be able to create a picture out of it such kind of education is called decontextualized education because they are not able to contextualize it as per their environment the point being that man is a animal in the world and with the world kya samjhe for everyone this is maybe this can be a topic of the essay so what would you write and what is the sim one line or two line explanation of it that man is a animal in the world and with the world i cannot exist without you you have to be there for me to exist i am a teacher or i am a mentor just because you are studying from me so you know my existence is completely nullified if students are not there so for my consciousness to evolve there has to be presence of someone that's why i am a animal in the environment and with the environment Payal Tadevi was a doctor, and she was a gynecologist, practicing resident gynecologist. But she was not feeling the sense of belongingness in that atmosphere because the people were not helping them to belong. And this is the reason for the dropout rates in IITs, IIMs, or for that matter, any other STEM courses. even if we call, if if we talk about sociology anthropology or subaltern studies all these positions are filled by the higher caste people all these positions they you know initiator of all these subjects in india were the higher caste people and they control the kind of hegemony and the students why do you think that modi ji revered modi ji okay <laughs> is behind jnu or for that his gurges were behind jnu all the time why they paint jnu as a den of anti national operations institutions where the ganja is very common theek hai this is something called hegemony jnu is one of the institutions which is taking a contrarian view point as against the view point of the current order or the current regime 
and if they want to percolate deep into if they want to deeply percolate into the institutions they have to have their own people and this cannot be broken until those people who are in the power will be replaced so they want to the break the hegemonies of communist order which is prevalent in chief okay uh, one another popular cultural reference and this is a very good movie and this is available in ott so you can watch it by downloading it from torrent <laughs> the move the name of movie is the trial of chicago 7 okay the trial it is available on netflix if you will get because i what i like about the hollywood movies are they are generally movies of 1 hour 30 or 1 hour 40 minutes have max <laughs> okay and more that you will get a significant things to write in your essays by watching these movies by only watching these movies ha the trial of chicago 7 and it is one brilliant movie and parallel can be drawn with the current regime right now and you will see that this because this movie paints the this movie represents the students of ukla university of california at los angeles so this is one of the universities which is quite parallel to jnu wala kind of thing so they paint this universities as anti national <laughs> Okay, just watch this movie, and you will get a significant thing to write about and to discuss. You will have a different perspective of understanding any reality, and this is what is needed for writing the essays. Oh, boy! Class, me, आते रहो, बताते रहेंगे, हर दिन थोड़ी बताएंगे कि problem with the genius. see you see that you know everything has to be seen from a balanced perspective there is this fight between two persons one you know very well other you may be not knowing him you know in that order which you know the first person the first person is amartya sen everybody knows him hai na bade hai ye hai flana hai dimkan hai and the other person is jagdish bhagwat kitne log jante hai and when you will read the economics and you know largely what you are seeing in the newspaper right now or the what is the problem as of right now is this is whole, whole thing happened between 2010 or it's not happening it's happening from 1997 till now and this part is always referred to as bhagwati sand debate we all know about the theories of amartya sen developmental economics capability approach that you have to give you have to develop the social infrastructure theek hai you have to develop the social intra infrastructure for development of the last mile you have to give them education you have to give them health you have to give them food so this is the line which is argued by amartya sen capability approach that you have to make them capable no on the contrary the bhagwati he haven't got he hasn't got a uh, nobel prize as of now and he is a professor at columbia university and even in his college and in near circles there are many people who are nobel laureate but nobody takes up the name of nobel in front of him because everyone in the us knows that this person has to be awarded knowledge nobel but he haven't got yet and this is a bone of contention between amartya sen and uh, bhagwati so the model of bhagwati is that just think about it that from 1947 to 1991 india as a country tried to develop the poor all kind of social infrastructural facilities were being provided for or at least the government tried to develop it do it but what was the result overall poverty increased and in the decade just after 1990s absolute poverty decreased but relative poverty increased but number of absolute poverty has decreased to a significant extent we can see urban poor but these people who are starving in 1996 the point being that 
what bhagwati says that if you want to develop a country then you have to focus upon growth and when the country will grow at a certain stages you know you can distribute that income to the lowest section of the people so just think about two things during the first regime the first uh, term of atal bihari vajpayee we know about a policy called pmgsy pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana theek hai and the other policy is called mg narex mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee program so what's the con- what was the consequence of this <laughs> you know just think about it pmgsy pmgsy versus mg narega okay what was the policy of this 100 rupees so 100 days on minimum wages and now which was 150 days in the tribal areas so you will get the employment what became the consequences of this people got disposable income hmm? inflation increased to a significant extent because now people were investing on eating yes yes sir this is the model so inflation increased to a significant extent people got disposable income and these incomes haven't created any kind of capacity demand at the rural area also increased which further led to the increase in inflation which ultimately led to the anna movement which resulted in loss of congress government but now if we talk about pmgsy what are the consequences enrollment till class 10th increased theek hai enrollment till class 10th increased but enrollment after class 10 for boys decreased how at the in the district because there was connectivity between rural areas and urban areas theek hai second the land prices at the rural area increased because of the connectivity third the demand consumer demand at the rural area increased due to the backward forward linkage fourth enrollment in the vocational courses increased to a significant extent so both were the screams of pmgsy and mahatma gandhi rural uh, mg narex both were the scheme of the poverty alleviation at one side we can see that infrastructure was created which led to the development of rural areas and other side we are seeing that disposable income increased maybe it created and built some asset but not to the extent of this assets so in a mockery of amartya sen bhagwati told that these communists are very fine people they will always tell you where to spend the money but they will never tell you how to earn the money theek <laughs> hai so this was the line bhagwati recited in criticism of amartya sen to certain extent if we can see that yes this is fine this model is fine so he is more towards privatization he is more towards building the infrastructure and the current regime is focusing upon the infrastructure you can see the number of the highways which has come express ways which have come in the state of up bullet train metro rail so this is the region and in the long run it can benefit the country in the long run but not right now because what is happening is not that equitable because certain people are doing it only two ways theek <laughs> hai the double a batteries <laughs> okay hmm now so coming back to our topic that you see that there are economic disparities between the 
सबल्टन सेक्शन एंड द नॉर्मल सेक्शन क्या ईडी में नहीं मिल रहा आपको करेक्ट चलिए थोड़ा सा ये मेरा टॉपिक है ना तो सोशियोलॉजी वाला टॉपिक है ओके सो ईडी इज कम्प्लीटली रेवलेंट अभी के हिसाब से सो यू सी दैट दिस इकोनॉमिक डिस्पेरिटीज बिटवीन द नॉर्मल पीपल हु हैव द एडवांटेज यू सी दैट इट्स प्रोबेबली आई हैव मे हैव गिवन यू द एग्जांपल बट इफ आई से यू दैट Out of 900 or 10,000 seats in the UPSC, 500 people who are selected in the examinations are of wards of some officer. They are the sons and daughters of already selected officer. So, what would you believe that you know this exam uh, exam is biased because it is giving preference to the selected candidates? Sorry, are those kind of candidates whose fathers or whose father or parents are already in the services? थोड़ा सा मन में आएगा ऐसा कुछ बिकॉज दिस एग्जाम इज बाइस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड इफ यू बी बी थ्री हंड्रेड टू फोर हंड्रेड पीपल आर सेलेक्टेड एंड दो सेलेक्टेड आर ऑलरेडी द चिल्ड्रेन ऑफ द आई एस एंड ब्यूरोक्रेट्स इन हाउ इट इज सर्विंग एनी पर्पज है ना थोड़ा सा बायस तो मन में आता है बट वट इफ आई टेल यू दैट यू सी दैट यू नो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वी हैव टू गो एंड वी हैव टू रिसर्च डेट बाई कौन सी किताब पढ़नी है कहाँ से पढ़नी है विच बुक टू बी स्टडीड विच पार्ट हैज टू बी स्टडीड एंड हाउ इट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली हाउ इट इज टू बी स्टडीड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल डोंट नो हाउ यू नो अ बुक हैज टू बी स्टडीड बस हम पढ़ते हैं कुछ फॉलो नहीं करते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इवन इवन आई लर्न इट एट लेटेस्ट स्टेज डेट यू नो एवरी पैराग्राफ हैज सम एसेंस सो वाई डोंट आई राइट वट इज द एसेंस ऑफ द पैराग्राफ इन दू नो कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द बुक so from next time i don't have to read that paragraph again just write the essence of the paragraph underline the keywords and move on from next time it will be very clear to me ki bhai maine kya padha tha wo book dekh ke to yaad aa jayega but how many people will tell you to read something like this so you know these people these children who are clearing the examinations and who are already the sons and daughters of the already selected candidates they know how to read the things they know how to understand what to understand and from where and what books has to be there what book has to be read and they are doing it from the very beginning they do have the completely different methods of thinking because they inherited it from their father mother and father so in their in this case the culture of their family is serving as a capital which cannot be bought in the market so these families are inculcating the values which at some point of time became capital nahi so this is what called cultural capital because these 400 to 300 to 400 students already having that knowledge that kind of culture because of which they are getting selected so just think about it what is the networking of the lower caste people particularly in the stem education zero because they never had any people who were dealing with it <laughs> what was their cultural capital zero why madrasis brahmins are good in the mathematics because ramanujam initiated it and people followed it hai na they are sanyas they are jagdish chandra basu who migrated to united states but they became they acted as a role model for bengalis so can i say this is wrong because ultimately this is meritocracy even maybe some person in basically you know i wrote four attempts five attempts basically and in four i appeared for means so my option used to be always my first preference used to be always at that time so these things were different so I always opted for ifs services <laughs> not ias not ips my first preference was used to be ifs region so i belong to a basically place called you know uh, in somewhere in jharkhand so when i was a child there was this role modelization of muchkund dubey who used to be a foreign secretary in 1990s so everybody used to see muchkund dubey muchkund dubey aage and he was a very big person so even when i'm completely you know naive to the field of upsc but i just heard the name muchkund dubey and i think there is a book of him also on bangladesh particularly and this is a very good that is a very good book 
गुड लुक सो ही यूज टू बी आवर नेबर इन सब वे नॉट एक्जेक्टली नेबर बट कहीं शहर के रहने वाले थे हर कोई उनका नाम जानता था so i opted for i this you know i just developed an inkling towards understanding what we use what is foreign service foreign services so this role model was provided by ramanujam his village by jagdish chandra basu by jc bose there are numerous names to tell upon to wo kyun nahi jayenge hai na so you see that cultural capital in case of cultural capital which leads to social networking which leads to academic understanding is missing in the case of subaltern section oh why not the six <laughs> chalta rehte hai let bygones be bygones <laughs> okay so you see uh that this kind of capital is not and this is not only the problem with in education this is the problem in the entrepreneurship also people from a certain community are doing the entrepreneurship activities kaun si community bansal मोदीज आर मोर इन टू फ्रॉड ओ सॉरी आई एम नॉट सपोज टू से नो 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 इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट ठीक ओके सो यू सी बंसल्स अग्रवाल्स गुप्ता सक्सेना सो यू अपट एंड यू नो अगेन दे अंडरस्टूड द टाइम दे ऑप्टेड फॉर कंप्यूटर साइंस they work for some people and now they open their own startups and this is and this is how their network developed venture capitalist kuch nahi hote hain bhai wo sirf cultural capital wale hote hain wo chacha tau hi hote hain kisi ke okay so this is how it is developing okay so and where one of the most important points which is there is that in case of gender they face the problem of intersectionalities intersectionalities is when one or more form of discrimination is coming together and compounding it further phd mein admission to le liya lekin shaadi karani hai kyunki that is the patriarchal norm you have to get married so you will drop out of your phd or msc or that course in the there was a time when girls used to take science because everybody thought that those people who are reading arts are dumb people <laughs> so there used to be a time also something like that okay so you see that these norms force someone to drop out of their mid career or not to take the subjects corporate mein job nahi karna log kya kahenge but i was in discuss kar rahe the na hum log that somebody when somebody is earning more he is just forcing his wife to drop out of the job market log kya kahenge ki patni se kaam kara raha hai so what's the solution of these things the problems yes affirmative action is one of the solutions but we have to improve everything from the school level the model school level second the language which is the problem we have to make it more gender sensitive right now it is not gender sensitive there is a core masculine bias in the overall language also uh madam curie ko jante hain Okay, she was never awarded Nobel. Uh, see, I, I believe that she was awarded Nobel, but she was always discriminated against it of the science. And most of the core academic text, if you will read English, he, she, he, 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 he. Okay, so that is the kind of language. Everything is de uh, dealt with the male touch. So it has to be sensitized. Though it is more romanticized version, <laughs> it is not feasible. But again, we can say that. 
Moreover, the tendency to stereotype has to be reduced. Stereotyping, samaste na? When your grades are not that good, so there is a prep course in the IITs for the subalterns, generally SCSC students. So they are largely stigmatized. Ki they are from the prep course. The MTech students of the IITs are stigmatized as matka. <laughs> okay. Oh, matka hai. <laughs> okay. So these things has to be Hmm. But again, those people who got the admissions on the merit, you know, generally, generally you criticize it. Most, the most important solution is that right now, there is a mathematical joke. I'm from mathematics background. So there is a joke, a very good joke, which is what is the difference between a pure mathematician and a applied mathematicians? And this was answered by a pure mathematician that apply, applied mathematicians earn more money. <laughs> okay. The point being, the point being is that largely what we are seeing in India is complete disjointed approach. Academic is that one side, job market is another side. So until the point, there is some kind of provision is not paid. That thus there is a uniformity and homogenization will not develop with the job market. People will not be oriented towards the STEM education. And that particularly from the subaltern caste, as because for them survival is also a question. Okay. Any questions? Hmm. Mm -hmm. See, this is there. They basically, I, I, I believe that maybe three or four years back, there was a big uproar in the Korean university. When professor was teaching the class, he used some word which was particularly male dominant or male oriented. See, largely you have the tendency and habit of teaching the student, which is uh, only male. So you will develop your orientation in that way. So this is what is being, you know, thought of being changed. So the thing is, because many people from the sub they have been learning their basic education in their mother tongue. Mm -hmm. So when they are entering to the higher generally they are having needs. Mm -hmm. So can you see the suggestion of functionalizing the higher education for the See, that is one of the way biology, but the problem is I'm telling you that, you know, at certain point of time, most of the books are written by the foreign authors. So that is not easily available in the market. This is what, you know, I also have faced this kind of problem because I used to study until 10th class in Hindi medium. So after I had suddenly switched to English medium, so it naturally had an impact on my education because I never understand that when acceleration became something, we used to call it Toran. Toran became acceleration in English. So yes, the student face problems, something like this. But the thing is that, you know, is there any way by which every book can be translated? I, I believe that, you know, probably most of your students have studied maths in 10th or 12th. So there used to be a book called R.S. Sharma, Manjeet Singh. It was like this, right? R.S. Agrawal. R.D. Sharma and R.S. Agrawal. This was the book. We generally used to read, but just think about those people who are studying for the preparation and who have this cultural capital. One of my friend used to study Irodo, i.e. Irodo in his 10th class examination, in his 10th class. And he was from a very good school. So naturally he had that kind of, you know, cultural capital. And in my time, he scored 19 rank in IITJ. So this is the difference, na? cultural difference. You know, there's a very famous dialogue. Uh, it's largely, it is a monologue. Geography is destiny. You will be able to understand it when you are thinking about, when you are comparing a student from Delhi 
and when you are comparing the same student from some part in the northeast his destiny is being decided by the geography that way he is born hai na you know how can you defeat the geography in that case so yes student face challenges but they have to improvise those people who don't read plato and just republic in india in their phds or in their whole life when they go to the united states they read it because that is what course demands so evolution comes from adaptation <laughs> so you have to adapt it in that way okay yes it is education in itself is social in the case of social closer na you you see that you devise some kind of word bahut simple sa shabdon mein kuch keh sakte but you know just read sociology and you will find that this is you know, okay yahi keh raha tha bhai baat kar raha tha ki difference hai stratification to so, academic is a part of social closer isn't it okay it's not i believe that uh, there are no doubts okay okay thank you welcome Thank you.